If you're interested in exploring the potential range for a plant species in California, go to the calflora.org homepage and the name wizard and start typing either the scientific name or the common name of the plant you're interested in learning more about. Let's look at Dendromecon rigida. Search. And here you'll find the taxon report page for the species you're interested in, including a distribution map, photos, bloom period, name of course, and then this link goes to the plant range. You can look at the possible range by climate model or by watershed, and you can turn on individual observations to see where this bush poppy exists in the wild in the state of California. The yellow area here indicates that bush poppy would grow well here even if it doesn't grow there already. The Calflora climate model algorithm uses elevation, precipitation, summer high temperature, winter low temperature, temperature range, accumulated temperature, wet season, growing season, and hardiness zone for each occurrence of the plant in the ecoregion. And under layers, we have county lines turned on, we can turn that off. We have range by climate model turned on. You can also turn on ecoregion 4 and see that the observations that fall into a certain ecoregion inform the climate model. You can also look at range by watershed instead of the climate model. And for the individual observations that you've turned on here, um, you have simple points, obscured points, which means the observer decided not to release the exact location. It's within, within the quarter quad. Lines and polygons, specimens, surveys and checklists. You can turn those off if you don't want to see surveys and checklists, which tend to be more general. And if you'd like to share this with somebody else, you can copy and paste this hyperlink and send it to them and or go to share this page and this longer hyperlink will get your exact um, map, zoom, whether your points are turned on, etc. And if you want to learn more about the algorithm we use and how we came up with the plant range possibilities, go to tools and help to learn more about it. You can also go to what grows here at this location, observation search at this location, view it in Google Earth, and you can add an observation if you've seen this species before in the wild, add it to the CalFlora database. If you have questions from the home page at the bottom, you can contact us and please include your URL from the, pos from the plant range page here or whatever your question is about so we can better assist you. Thank you.